Hey, it's Skulls. I'm back again with another Bleach Brave Souls video. Today, I'll be making a tier list. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Kind of. I wouldn't call myself a Redditor, but I will admit that I do browse the BBS subreddit quite frequently. And today, I want to talk about this one post in particular. This post that I'm sharing here was developed by the user who goes by the name of Riddler208. The significance behind this is that it is a tier list. Okay, now what do I mean by this? What makes this one any different? I personally find interest in this one because of how Riddler was able to narrow down every character into a single category. That being damage per second, also shortened to DPS. Forget about attributes, killers, affiliations. If you want to know who is really the best of the best, then this tier list is for you. If at any point you find yourself enjoying the video, or even questioning any of the details regarding this tier list, be sure to leave a comment. The engagement helps a lot so others can discover my content. So right here is the list. At a glance, you can notice how simplified this tier list is. You have the character's name in column A, and an assigned number in column B. What this number represents is the character's DPS factor. The DPS factor was calculated by creating an imaginary character. This imaginary character was made as simple as possible. Average stats, all attack magnifications of 100%, and no soul traits or skills. Now, because of how basic this character is, let's assign it with a DPS factor of 1. This means we can now use this imaginary character as a baseline reference point for every character in the game. Now, let's take a look at who currently transcends beyond everyone. 6th Anniversary Aizen. His DPS factor is rounded to 7.9. A way we can translate this is by saying Aizen is 7.9 times stronger than the most basic character in the game. Another is saying Zenosuke is 1.7 times stronger than the most basic character. Riddler did provide his formula on how you obtain each individual's DPS factor. I highly encourage you take a look at his post for yourself. The link will be provided in the description. What I have done now is made a replica of Riddler's tier list, making it much easier to identify where everyone stands through his organization method. Now. It may seem overwhelming. There are roughly 500 different characters taken into account and calculated. I kid you not, I messed up and didn't get any sleep at all just to put this together. With there being that abundant of characters, there will always be heated debates on accuracy. For example, Old Muramasa is listed with a higher DPS factor than the fan favorited God Tier Strong Attack Hit, Spirit Society Byakuya. The three factors stated in Riddler's documentation, mag share, DPS contribution, and multipliers prove why Muramasa is superior. Also, just because your favorite character has a low position on the list does not mean they aren't viable. With Transcendence and Link Slots, you can clear the hardest content in the game with almost anyone. As much as I'd like to promote this tier list, I encourage everyone to play your favorite character regardless if they're meta or not. This can add more longevity to the game and save your spirit orbs. Do what you want with this information, whether you're a meta junkie or a chad waifu enthusiast. And again, Riddler's original post is in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time.